My name is Paul Christensen and I'm a senior fisheries biologist with Alberta Environment and Parks Fisheries Management. Today we're on the world famous Bow River below the city of Calgary. This fishery has, has been a very, very popular fishery for at least 20 years and, uh, and now has the distinction of being Alberta's busiest fishery as measured in a 2018 creel survey that we did uh, where we observed 200,000 hours of summer angler effort which is, is a 15% increase since the last time we did the survey in 2006 and now exceeds even Slave Lake in terms of a summer fishery uh, from an effort perspective. This is pretty important because when you consider uh, a water body as large as Slave Lake and the relatively small size of the Bow River, it's pretty easy to see how angler pressure can potentially have a significant effect on the fishery or is at least one of the many threats that we're looking to understand, model, and make management actions to keep the fishery sustainable into the future. So we're out here on the river today with Alberta Environment and Park staff doing monitoring of the Boat River fishery. Monitoring is a very important component of successfully managing a fishery to ensure that we are doing fish counts to see what the population looks like relative to other years where we've monitored the population. We've worked with the University of Calgary over the past few years to try to understand better from a statistical perspective what our populations look like. And what we think we're seeing has been a decline in the, tr in the Bow River trout population. And what we're out here doing today is monitoring it to see whether or not that decline is continuing or whether or not we are seeing signs of an improvement in the fishery. So the way we're monitoring the population this uh, today here is we're doing a capture mark capture experiment where we're looking at a four kilometer index reach and we come out on successive passes and we implant a pit tag in the fish, a passive integrated transponder, which gives us a unique serial number that tells us who that individual is. This is pretty exciting because as these tags are in the fishery, we're looking to uh, partner with some, some guides and, and citizen science anglers to try to uh, subsequently recapture these fish and that can get some very critical information for the fishery that we can use in the future. Things that we can learn from this type of information is where do fish move if we catch them in subsequent years and they're remeasured what are their growth rates and we can even uh, learn to estimate mortality rates and, and other things that help us better manage the fishery. Another key component that we're looking at with this Bow River work is taking this monitoring data to help us understand what the status of the population is and then putting that in the context of cumulative effects management. So normally the process of cumulative effects management involves people identifying what the factors are but it becomes very difficult to try to disentangle what factors are affecting the river and what amounts. So that's what we're doing right now is working with um, some external stakeholder groups uh, the University of Calgary and a number of scientists with Alberta Environment and Parks to develop this cumulative effects framework and this will allow us to better understand what specific factors are, are affecting the river and what amounts so that we can prescribe the right management solutions to manage the fishery sustainably in the future. It is really important to remember that although there are multiple stressors affecting the fishery, flows, phosphorus, canal entrainment, angling pressure, fisheries management really only controls one of those factors and that is the management of the fishery. So the types of things that we can do is in collaboration with stakeholders uh, start to develop a series of options and find out what solutions are, are going to work for stakeholders to manage the fishery in the future but again within the context of fisheries management. That might include things like changes in seasons, changes in gear, uh, other options like that. So you, you will continue to see uh, Alberta Environment Parks uh, focus on the Bow River as, as a very important priority. It is Alberta's busiest fishery. It uh, provides a, a significant amount of um, you know, economic value for Albertans and as such, uh, given its high angling pressure, uh, deserves our attention and it is, it is receiving a lot of attention within the department right now. So stay tuned for further information to, uh, about the Bow River Fishery.